right, Atma here, doing another deck tech, just because I'm trying to make up for lost time. The reason why I decided to do another one is because this is just a stupid deck. It's not actually even all that well tuned, but it does win stupidly. It is based on a couple different decks in standard. One of them is called uh, Blue Green Crush. And the standard version has four copies of Crush of Tentacles, and it has Den Protector, so it can bounce, it can play Den Protector, bounce Den Protector, play Den Protector, get it back out of the graveyard, and do it over and over again. It's the Crush Loop. We only have one because it's a Mythic, so it's a huge problem for trying to do that. We have to use Vexing Scudder, which costs eight. But because we have to use Vexing Scudder, I just made it into like. A hedged emerge deck with Elder Deep Fiend, uh, Wretched Griff, and it's also sort of a delirium. So I just randomly have Ishkana in there and uh, like these things that. I mean, <laughs> there's some silly stuff you can do. Okay, so one thing is you can activate Crush of Tentacles with these one drops, and they're decent tempo plays anyway. Two. You can actually grapple with the past to get Vexing Scudder and then play Vexing Scudder to get grapple with the past, and that's like a huge delay tactic. You can also grapple with the past to get Elder Deep Fiend and then flash in Elder Deep Fiend all at instant speed because it's all instant. And this is another deck with ramp, and once again I know that like I've just said that people who play ramp are idiots. Um, but that's what I'm really referring to with that is when people play real ramp decks that are good, like ones that just play good value creatures and a bunch of ramp stuff and then plays Ulamog, like those are good decks. This deck sucks, but it wins because uh, it's unexpected and stupid. Crush of Tentacles also, um, it also bounces Planeswalkers, <laughs> so that's like really nice to just bounce planeswalkers with this thing because it does say non-land permanence um, I'm just gonna show you I'm just gonna show you we'll see if we can win a game I actually haven't done my big meta analysis like I did in the last couple seasons because uh, I've been busy but if I had to guess on the record of me playing this deck it's probably like 50-50 I'm probably like five and five, so I haven't really tested this that much. But it's fun, and I figured you'd want to see something more than just Delirium after I didn't upload a video for a month. And we get to go against the computer right away, so that'll be nice and not fun. Obviously this is a terrible hand. This is quite a bit better. One thing about this deck is that it's very, very slow. So anytime you go against a red aggro deck, <laughs> you just lose. It's pretty pathetic. But it does have ways out because uh, like Clutch of Currents can break up their Infectious Bloodlust or whatever. So it's not, it's not helpless. And Crush of de Tentacles going off is the thing. Um... I would suspect that he's red-blue for some reason, because he, he started with a spell instead of a creature, but I could be wrong. Okay, so I could be wrong. <laughs> he could just have had no one-drops. Um, I'm going to let this happen. I'm going to play my creature, pretend like I'm going to block, let the computer load up with whatever he wants. It's kind of funny how I chose the deck that like, you don't see red aggro as often anymore, but, like, this deck, the worst enemy I could possibly face is red aggro, so. I'm just going to go for the block here. Get a pump spell out of his hand. It's much more important to kill, get pump spells out of their hand than get creatures off the board. Not that the computer knows how to play or anything. That's what I expected on turn one, is this thing. So I'm going to get a bunch of pieces of the puzzle. 
even though we have basically all of them. Um, another pieces, and then this is pilgrimage seems good. I expect like a burn spell and just an attack for one probably. All right. Well, this one's going to get in cuz I'm going to do other stuff this turn. Well, that's a good draw. That is a good draw. Hmm. Well, the only thing I can do is just explosive vegetation or Nissa's pilgrimage. And I'm going to explosive. And then next turn, I think the plan is clutch and crush, even though it'll be an empty board. And then we'll get the vexing scutter back whenever it gets milled with this gra grapple. Although he played nothing, that does make me not want to just pop something off. Maybe, uh, maybe I pilgrimage. Snap off this pieces. Another grapple. Scudder goes to the yard, and we're in business. It was the infect infectious bloodlust I wanted him to use. So we just take four damage and get there, basically, is what happens. I know this is against the computer, and obviously their draw was mediocre, but you're about to see this deck doing its thing. So grapple, scutter, scuttler, crush. Okay, so, so we take 10 damage, which is gross. We're going to have to be very careful now. Wow, another Infectious Bloodlust. Oh, we take 13? No! So we could be dead to just anything because he had that. That's so sad. I think I need to grapple and just get back this, like, Eldrazi Sky Spawner blocker. As sad and pathetic as that is. Oh, it's so annoying. the saddest thing I've ever seen. Alright, so I could play this. Now I'm dead to a lot. I gotta play this. I guess I'm dead to the act of treason no matter what, so maybe I just create more attackers for next turn. Alternatively, I could I could play around 
I could play around his act of treason by playing the scutter, the scuttler. I think that might actually be the plan. Like I emerge. And then I don't have to die. I think I'm just going to get grapple. Even though I'd usually get crush. And then we'll bounce this thing. Now we don't die to act of treason, which is important. So it's probably it's probably a smart path that I took there. Is there anything else I can get back? Okay. It's a pretty good draw. Um Wow, another thing? Hopefully it doesn't find burn. Nope. All right, let's see here. Well, now I wish I had that crush. So it seems to me that attacking with stuff is probably smart. Maybe all the stuff? I think he has to block with two things. I mean, he really only legitimately has to block with one thing, but I think he has to block with two. So we have this land, this land to block still. Grapple. Ishkana, it's an insane draw. That's what we're gonna get. And we can still activate this land because we can sack this uh, Scion, so it's still a blocker if we need it. And he got twin fold off the top. No, no. Okay, so obviously this deck is amazing, and we just, like, had the worst luck ever there. Oh, God. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. This makes me sad. It just makes me really, really sad that that happened. Top deck Twin Bolt? Who does that? Jerkoffs? <sighs> That's why I'm actually in the low 30s, is because people just are lucky, or computers are lucky. I'm certainly, I certainly should win every game that I ever play. That's my opinion. Even when I make mistakes, I should get rewarded. This hand is not great, but... I'm just fucking around anyway. I'm just showing you a dumb deck. Despite the fact that it should have beat that mono red 100%. Wretched Griff's pretty good, but it's usually not great against blue black. Because <laughs> we sacrifice a creature and we get a creature and we draw a card and they just kill it, which is pretty miserable. Probably gonna Pilgrim's Eye and try and set up this Wretched Griff. Hopefully he doesn't like play Liliana here, because then that just disrupts that plan in such a giant way. Like that would be the absolute worst card to be played. Oh, Crow of Dark Tidings is not. That's perfectly fine. Although that does signal that he's playing a zombie deck. It certainly is the case. And zombies is actually pretty good. It's much better than I thought it would be. Catches me off guard.
My suspicion is he'll just bounce this thing and make me discard a card. And what I'll be discarding is this island I just got, so it's not that big of a deal. If he wants to do that to get in for two, it's perfectly fine. Could also alternatively just play Liliana this turn and punish me. I do expect him to have bounce, which which makes this wretched griff just not great, but it's better than this one one. And we get to draw a card. I'd really like to pop off these Nissa's pilgrimages as well. Yeah, so I'm just gonna not block. And make him do other stuff. He may have a Digraph Colossus he's trying to make gigantic, which is why he was willing to trade that, I'm not sure. This I don't even understand why he would have that thing in this deck. It certainly doesn't do anything against our deck. We just gotta hope that the cards in his hand aren't great. That's pretty much it. Clutch. Mm. Hmm. We're going to le learn a lot about his hand right here, depending on what he does. If he just has Obnixilis, we learn nothing. But if he, if he makes a blind attack, then we know he's got some shit. Sure. <laughs> That's as good as Obnixilis. That's gross. I hate how far ahead he is. It's just the most amount ahead. Could not be farther ahead. Um, I can't play two things, which is just sad. Next turn I can play two things. I'll play this and try and trade with this stupid Guilt Leaf Winnower if I can, but I doubt it. Seems like I probably won't be able to. He hasn't really played anything spectacular. All he did was just play things that did things. Like he played a creature and then a creature and then a kill and a creature. And them's the breaks. So now he gets to scry when I trade. And I'd be lucky to trade, that's the sad part. He can also probably get this Kilt Leaf Winnower out of his graveyard, which is exactly why he attacks. I wouldn't be surprised if this very next turn he just Grave Diggered. Got it back. Oh, he's got a Bounce. Oh, I see. Never mind. Forgot people need to gain a million life against me. So it goes to 25. His life total doesn't really, isn't really that relevant, but me being at 10 is relevant. Him scrying three times is relevant. This is actually a weird deck. Like, what is, this has got all kinds of weird stuff in it. It's not even really a zombie deck, it's just like blue-black random shit. I'm going to lose to it because I'm playing just the worst deck ever. Vexing Scudder usually is better than this. <laughs> Alright, so we'll play this. Oops. Let's play this. We'll start clutching next turn. If I have the distinct honor to trade with this stupid crow, we'll start clutching next turn. You know, the funny thing is, is this guy didn't really play that much stuff, and yet I'm way behind. That's magic for you, though. You stumble a little bit, you just get punished. He lets this happen, and since he scried three, He's going to find exactly what he wanted. So he is sort of a zombie deck. 
It's like zombie plus weird stuff. We don't even have a play this next turn that means anything either, which is pretty miserable. I mean, we're going to die to the Shadows of the Past just because he was able to do so much damage. One, two, three. Yeah, he could just activate that four times and we would lose. So, I'm definitely going to clutch this stupid thing. I mean, I, I can't imagine a single world where we can do 25 damage before he activates this four times, but we don't even have to do 25 damage. We have to do 25 plus 8, or plus 6 even. So we have to do 34 damage before he activates that four times, which is just the worst. Clutch doesn't even really help us, because he's in, close enough on mana to where even if we clutch this thing, he could just replay it and activate in the same turn. Maybe I need something that gains life in this deck. I mean, with all the Vexing Scudders, I could end up gaining a lot of life. Yep. So this game is just so over, it's not even funny. Oh, Ishkana. That doesn't help either. Okay. So I'm just living in misery right now. Because I can't attack, and I can't kill this crow. I just can't do anything. It's so miserable. I can block the crow, but then I just take two damage from this again. Don't even get spiders. Okay. Um, I need to land in the yard for that to happen. So now we're just even closer to being dead because we go to four and then we go to two and then we have to do 26 damage in one turn and we can't do it. So it's just over. Okay. So I'm just going to change something on the fly. I'm going to try and put some kind of like Nissa's Pilgrimage in here instead. Or whatever it is. Or Nissa's Renewal. It's like one copy just in case. So we have something to draw. Maybe instead of this explosive. Although it's kind of funny because he didn't really play anything did he? Like, he played a 3-drop, and then he played a 3-drop, and then he played a 5-drop that I just traded, and I was just dead. It was amazing. It's almost hard to believe that that shit happened, but... Because it felt like I should have been way higher than 10, or 6, or whatever insanity that was. So I just lost 0-2, but it did, didn't feel like I won that first game. That's what it felt like to me, is that that first game was a win. Waiting in this joining session screen is not a win. It's a loss. Oh god. All right. Trying for round number 3. God, rank 31. 
somehow I always manage to not go below 30. Like, I can't remember the last time I was just, I actually fell below 30. All right, so this hand is, like, decent. I mean, it's good. It's awkward that we couldn't just play this dryad out, but whatever. We really need to play this Jace and make sure we hit this land drop. Of course we're against red. Of course. Of course. Of course we're against red. Holy shit. Jeez. It lived. Oh my god. Holy shit. Nope. Pause. It's dead. Of course it's dead. Fuck. 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 Ridiculous. Red, blue, yeah, sure. Yep, draw your cards. Jerk off. I don't want to waste this grapple with the past at all. Thank God. Alright, so we got creature sorcery. So he's gunning for the kill everything plan. I respect that. I really want this to not get countered. Yes, good, good. Um, yeah, I think I play that. He's got twin bolt. It's pretty punishing, but what are you gonna do? Lose the game. Blue red's a really, 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 really popular strategy. Like, it's super, super popular. Both the tutelage side and the burn side. I do feel like this is the burn side, but I'm not sure. Some people play both sides, so it's hard to say. Kozilex Return. Well, we could just Deep Fiend and value out right this second. I will do that. We can leave up Grapple. He doesn't have any one spell that kills Elder Deep Fiend, because he has Lightning Axe, but he has to Lightning Axe and something, so... Incidentally, we can Grapple to get it back, so we're in good business. Fevered Visions, sure. I'm going to miss this pilgrimage even though it's going to fill our hand and make us take damage from fevered vision, visions just because I'm just going to do it. That's just all that, all that needs to be said about it because it's just happening. Uh, let's see. So we can grapple, get back a one drop, and crush if we need to. Like if he was to play a planeswalker or something stupid. But you gotta be very weary about being counterspelled. Lightning axe. So he's going to kill this thing and it's not going to matter. So what happens is we immediately grapple him.
Alright, so now he needs to do the same exact thing. <laughs> he needs to Lightning Axe Fire Temper to kill this thing. He could have a Bounce Spell, though. Oh, Fevered Visions. He's committed to the cause. We really need to find a Vexing Scudder. I'm gonna hold back that land for the Scryer Reach. Lightning Axe again. He had the exact same combo. It's pretty amazing. Alright, well, I'm just gonna jam. My cat's out outside just meowing like crazy. We could have not taken two damage there if we would have played the land. Probably would have been better for it. I just didn't wanna I didn't want to get rid of a, an actual card when we're playing this crazy game right now. This is actually a pretty good card against us, because he can just make some blockers. Yep, we're just drawing stone nothing now. Lightning axe again, so we had all three lightning axes, like a fucking genius. Alright, so we didn't find the Vexing Scudder, which is pretty irritating. It's Deep Fiend again. Well, that's just great. And he had a fiery temper. This guy's draw was pretty excellent. I can't deny it. So I feel like we had a really good draw against this guy, but the fact that he had <laughs> Lightning Axe, Fiery Temper twice in a row, which is almost impossible. Oh my god, and we drew another land. So now we just lose because my deck doesn't know how to fucking draw correctly. Like He's drawn all gas, we've drawn all nothing. That's something. Too late. And we took damage. And he has six cards in hand, so he could actually just kill us with, like, the right spells in Bedlam Reveler. Oh, he gets to draw another card. What we really need is another Elder Deep Fiend. Yep. So now he's going to go to, what, eight cards? Oh, I'll tell you what... It's just not fair. Having that Bedlam Reveler right there was just backbreaking. I mean, I'm gonna post this O3 video, but don't ju don't judge <laughs> this deck, this terrible deck, based on these O3 games. I mean, aside from the second game, it certainly performed plenty well, and despite drawing too many lands in this game, it's it's still fine. 
See, I was the aggressor, but now I actually have less life than him, as impossible as that is. I have too many lands in hand, so I can't possibly stop this Fevered Visions from hit damaging me, which is just absurd. Yep, drew another land, so the game's over. It's quite miserable. It's probably the most miserable thing ever. And he had a Disperse. It's just gross. So if he has a counter spell, we cannot win. Let's see what bullshit we draw. A land! Shocker! Okay, thing in the ice, sure. Chandra. Sure. Plus. Sure. He might have actually lost here. I actually hope we draw another land just to be funny. We didn't. We won though. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna swing just to show them I could. We did it. Blue, green, crush your soul. So this deck's stupid and I drew too many lands that game. But I mean, what are you gonna do, man? It's a fun one. It's arguably more fun than Delirium. Delirium certainly wins more. But there it is. So I gave you guys two decks. Dos decks. See you next time.